Hi guys, so today we're going to be looking at a bit of a DIY project. Just been down to the store trying to find a sieve to uh, to essentially clear out the stones inside some of my tomato beds. As you may have seen on one of the previous videos, you know, packed with stones, you know, it's taking me a lot of time to do it. Got back, unfortunately I couldn't find anything. So like I said, it's a DIY project today. All I've used is some mesh and a bit of wood, a few screws and some washers. And let's get straight into it. This is everything you're going to require really. So you want some mesh that's suitable for, you know, the average size of the stones that are found in the soil you wanted to clear out. You want four pieces of wood that are cut to the, uh, essentially to the right dimensions. Uh, some wire cutters to cut your mesh. Um, you know, some, I haven't got any washers so I'm going to be using these which I think will be uh, sufficient. Some screws, obviously a measuring tape to measure out the, uh, the dimensions that you want. Uh, as well as, uh, you know, wood, a wood saw just to cut down some wood and a screwdriver. So the mesh I've decided to go ahead with is uh, the dimensions of 50 centimetre by uh, 2.5 metre. Of course for the actual sieve we're not going to be using 2.5 metre uh, but I chose this stuff because as you can see ergonomically it fits quite nicely in my hand and uh, obviously when I'm going to be building something about this size it's going to be easy to start working with the uh, you know filtering through the soil. So this stuff essentially is uh, is about one centimetre, so 10 mil by 10 mil squares, and that's going to allow me to take out most of the bigger rocks inside the beds. And anything smaller than this, I'm not too concerned about. So the first part of the process, you just want to lay down the pre-cut wood. like this and essentially this wood here is going to be on the top side of the sieve and the reason why obviously if we've got more depth on this area here we can put more soil in there and be able to sieve more at the same time okay so just using the wire cutters I'll just cut this piece down here as you can see it just fits inside the dimensions of the wood and ideally you want this to be coming no, not really on the outside of there because it could be uh, a little bit dangerous but uh, I think I'm going to go ahead with that, that's okay so this is the tricky part, so what I'd suggest here is you uh, start off by doing one side and this is where you're going to need the ideally some extra hands would be a great start but uh, I'm not too concerned so this part of the process is nice to have a helping hand. If you don't have anyone to help you, just use something just to hold down that piece of, uh, you know, that one side while you uh, essentially put this thing together. So as you can see here, you just want a slight edge on this so that none of the pins on the outside are actually touching, uh, you know, the exterior of the uh, sieve itself because this could be, uh, you know, you could get scratched quite easily by something like this. In terms of these clips, um, really it would have been more ideal to use some washers. I've got a feeling these are going to work pretty well as well. I don't want this stuff to split, but we'll take it as it goes and see, see what it holds up. So as you can see, it's already started to, uh, start to be a bit more... Uh, forgiving now you got those first ones in what you're aiming for really is to get this nice and tight on the edges so obviously if it's not so tight you're gonna get you know the occasional piece of uh, stone popping through quite easily and it's it's really just how anal you want to be So here I'm just installing some L brackets in the corners of the wood on the underside and uh, again nothing really fancy about this and it's literally just to hold the whole thing secure so as you can see now really nice and solid we're just going to put in a few more washers and this is just going to help us tighten the whole thing up and all I've done here is just literally using whatever's lying around the house I'm just going to knock in as much as I can this is hopefully just going to prolong the life of this, uh, this piece of 
piece of equipment because it will be taking a bit of a beating and therefore you know it's quite it's quite key this thing holds out for at least the first season you know for the sake of a what a euro a dollar a pounds worth of mesh it's going to save me a lot of time in the garden and there we go so there's the finished product I am going to put some handles on it, just about here, so I can give that a good shake, but as you can see, super sturdy, great for the job, should last me a good season or two, and I'm perfect size there ergonomically, you know, I mean if I'm doing a 30 inch bed and I just want to sift that straight into the bed then we've got a perfect size there, and again, absolutely perfect. It's going to make my job hell a lot easier. So there we have it guys, hope you found that informative and you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and see you again soon.